Hello everyone and in this video we will see what is common data service which is one of the core component of Microsoft Power Platform and this video is part of our free Microsoft Power Platform tutorials for beginners video series in which we will learn what is Microsoft Power Platform and its components in nutshell. So as far as this video is concerned we will learn about what is common data service in Microsoft Power Platform. So ladies and gentlemen, my name is Abhishek Doria and you are watching Dynamics Academy YouTube channel. So let's get started. Subscribe to Dynamics Academy and press the bell icon on your YouTube app to never miss a video from Dynamics Academy. So let us now first of all see what is common data service. You can consider common data service as a common data store or common database which is easy to manage where both the metadata and the data are stored in the cloud and easy to provision and yet a scalable data store. And at the same time, common data service uses a common data model with standard entity schema and behavior. Data types and relationships are leveraged directly within the Power Apps. And it also comes with a software developer kit or an SDK for professional development scenarios. You can also define calculated fields, business rules, workflows and business process flows to ensure data quality and drive business processes. At the same time, you can also integrate with Microsoft Office for Excel and Outlook and also entities are available within add-ins for Microsoft Excel to increase the productivity and ensure data accessibility. And lastly, it is a powerful data access layer with the support for data import, export and security. The role-based security allows you to control access to entities for different users within your organization. So basically it is a powerful component of Microsoft Power Platform which is nothing but built on top of a common data model with standard entity schema and behavior which is again easy to manage and provision where you can store both metadata and the data within the cloud. So having seen this in nutshell, let us now understand a little bit depth about common data service. Common data service lets you securely store and manage data that is used by business applications. Data within the common data service is stored within a set of entities. An entity is a set of records used to store data similar to how a table stores a data within a database and it is built on the foundation of common data model it includes a base set of standard entities which is at this point in time 200 plus standard entities are available the moment you subscribe a common data service which covers typical scenarios but you can also create your own custom entities specific to your organization and populate them and populate them with the data using the power query app makers can use the power apps to build rich applications using this data so you can also use power apps and Power Virtual Agents and other applications of Power Platform to start building a rich applications and meeting your day-to-day -day requirements using the data stored within Common Data Service. Dynamics 365 applications such as Dynamics 365 Sales, Customer Service or Dynamics 365 Talent also uses the Common Data Service and secure the data used by the applications. This enables you to build apps using Power Apps and Common Data Service directly against your core business data already within Dynamics 365 without any need for integration. Hence, you can think of the different possibilities and uh, advantages about common data service which you are getting by default whenever you want to build any service then you do not need to specifically to write any integration logic to consume your data which is stored in Dynamics 365 database because Dynamics 365 applications itself store their all the data within common data service. So those integrations are readily available for you to start building your apps and automating your day-to-day -day business scenarios. So, so this is what in nutshell common data service is all about. We will learn about this common data service in depth in our upcoming videos as well. So having seen this in our next video we will learn about what is Power Apps portals which is again a new addition to Microsoft Power Platform. On that note, I thank you for watching this video till the end. And if you still have any doubts or queries, then please feel free to write them in the comment box below. And once again, I thank you for watching this video till the end. So if you have learned something new out of this video, then please like, share and subscribe to Dynamics Academy. And also press the bell icon so that you will never miss any update whenever we release a new video to our Dynamics Academy YouTube channel.